There was once, um, when I went to Amman, I told you these, uh, when I went to Petra and so on, there was uh, a Canadian peacekeeping officer that was in the hotel with us in Abdali, which is in Amman. And the brother that was with me, it was his first uh, chance giving da'wah, so he's telling him about the story of Adam and Iblis and how... So he's going on with the story and the guy's like, you know, he doesn't want to listen to it. So I basically said to him, I said, what do you worship? And he said, I don't worship anything. And I don't worship any religion, he said, because I can't leave aside my zina. He said, I can't leave aside my alcohol. I can't leave aside, you know, all these uh, worldly desires. And then I said to him in reply, I said that as Muslims we believe that everybody worships something. I said, even the words that you used were words of ubudiyah, were words of enslavement. He said, I cannot leave them. I'm enslaved to these things. But as a Muslim, we believe that our, um, our master is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we submit to him. And that's why a Muslim takes, um, takes pride in calling himself Abdullah and calling himself the slave of Allah. Even though people may translate it as the servant of Allah because it doesn't sound good in English, the word in Arabic is slave. Abd. If you said to someone, oh Abd, come here, it would be very derogatory. But when it's attached to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's the greatest nobility that someone is Abdullah, the slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why they became losers. Because the default is they've chosen to worship themselves and to worship their desires and travel along the path of life in this obedience to their desires.